hello everyone in this video we will learn how to uh, read the output from hydrological model Sawat. so let's open our file and uh, i will show you my folder Sawat folder so here you can see in your uh, Sawat folder where you run your model and you can find scenarios watershed and similar other files so we need to just go into uh, our excel file click on data uh, data from text and uh, just go to your folder where you saved the output of your Swath model. So I have saved into Gilgit. Uh, here you can find two folders scenarios and watershed just click on scenarios scenario and uh, i have saved name given the name as simulation of month so i will click on this one and open it so here you can uh, again find four folders so just uh, you can find text in and out files so click on open so here you can uh, it is saying that no item match your search so just click here on extension tab and uh, click on all files and you click on all files a lot of files will appear so here you can find output dot rch output dot reach output dot just click on open so click on next next and finish then ok so here you can see your SWAT output is already here. So as a student of hydrology is uh, mostly trying to find out the flows, outflows, stream flows. So uh, you can see flow dot out dot cubic meter per second in G, uh, G column. So for uh, that purpose, we need to delete the unnecessary rows from here and uh, uh, select three and these three uh, columns and uh, click on filter when you click on filter you need to go to the rch and just uncheck all if you want to uh, check the flow at the end point of watershed just click on the last sub basin so i have 27 sub basin in my watershed so i am clicking on the last one similarly it may vary according to your watershed so i am clicking on last one as 27 similarly in the month in the column of months you can see we are just trying to find out the monthly variables uh, one for one two three say january February, march april and similarly we need to check all these 12 uh, months so after uh, clicking all these 12 we need uh, we can see other uh, unnecessary uh, variables are neglected here such as 1981 and mean the values of years and 30 and same as so just check all 12 months and click on ok so here the in the last submission the for all the 12 months your outflow is uh, this one similarly now you can uh, copy these all values and uh, just put it to, into uh, any other folder for copying purpose you need to uh, click on uh, just right here one and uh, first row is already selected now you have to uh, press ctrl shift and down arrow so in this process your all uh, entire very entire columns and rows are selected so just press ctrl and c so in this way all of your data is already copied and just uh, you can go to any other excel file or just click on press icon, plus icon here in this way you will find, uh, go to another sheet of excel here you just control press ctrl plus v and uh, your all uh, output is displayed here so it is your uh, main uh, tab uh, for setting flow analysis so thanks for watching my video if you find this helpful please share it with, with your friends 
and uh, please subscribe to my channel for further similar videos thanks a lot